Hey, hey, this is David Strong by Lee. And in this video, I want to spend the next couple of minutes discussing a question with you, the one who struggles to find the motivation to change. If you're trying to lose weight and you're having a difficult time, you have to try to find a reason within yourself as to why you want to change. I don't think there's going to be anything on the outside that's going to help you change. Hiring a personal trainer might help. Getting a meal plan might help buying supplements might help but at the end of the day you have to find it within yourself to change that's going to be easier said than done especially when we have this discussion first off the question is what is it going to take what's it going to take for you to change I don't know if you've ever asked yourself that before I ask myself that all the time I ask my clients that question all the time what's it going to take for you to change especially when they say oh my gosh I'm having such a hard time I don't know what to do I don't know how to do this well what's it going to take even though it seems so out of place, a lot of times we know what it takes to change. We might just either be ignoring it, setting it off to the side, or be unwilling to admit it because it might take a lot of hard work. It might take some confrontations with our inner demons, our emotions. Now, I'm not a psychotherapist or, or a psychiatrist, but I at least have worked with enough people to know that a lot of times the reasons aren't we need to go to the gym we need this program we need to eat this particular food we need to go to sleep on time a lot of those things originate right in here our brain our mindset the way we think about ourselves the way we think about our health and our fitness what's it going to take for you to change your behavior your habits your thoughts your health your life in the midst of an extreme situation such as a global pandemic caused by a highly infectious and highly deadly contagious disease virus known as novel coronavirus COVID-19 that has brought the world to its knees has infected every corner of the globe infected hundreds of thousands of people killed tens of thousands those numbers are going to go up and they could have been far worse if many countries we're not practicing self-quarantining, social distancing protocols. Self-quarantining means stuck inside, the closing down of non-essential businesses, a gym is included, public places, gym, uh, parks are off limits. Things that are open, essential businesses, pharmacies, doctor's office, liquor stores, supermarkets, those are open because people need to eat and they need to drink. I don't know if they need to drink alcohol. Maybe they need to drink alcohol to drown out their sorrows. Whatever the case is, we definitely need to eat. We need to drink water. and We still need to take care of ourselves and more so. I don't know if it's just me. I think in a situation like this, when we are confronted with our mortality in the face of a freaking virus, a protein molecule that's wrapped in a layer of Fat that can replicate in our bodies is immune and pervious to antibiotics we still don't have a vaccine or a treatment for it yet we don't take care of ourselves in, in the face of a virus that can destroy our respiratory system our lungs induce pneumonia and respiratory failure kill us in a moment's notice without us even blinking and destroy our immune system cardiovascular health our respiratory health and our immune health two things that can be supported strongly with a good health with good health and good nutrition and good exercise habits and stress management yet you have memes of people saying don't judge me if you see me 20 25 pounds heavier in the summer it's because i was quarantined and i had ready access to a kitchen this is semi serious semi joking i'm not I'm not jabbing at anybody here. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to think out loud as to why somebody wouldn't take their health even more seriously than now. I mean, granted, outside of a global pandemic, people still didn't really care about their health. There are many people who diabetic, heart disease, they have a family history of chronic lifestyle illnesses that are preventable with a, with good health and fitness routines and they take they take their health and their fitness for granted they lived as if they weren't going to die anytime soon and i think that's a mistake even in the absence of a global pandemic these people despite behaving irrationally if you looked at these people saw the way they ate they drank and they conducted their normal lives as it pertained to the health and fitness you would probably think what the heck are they doing 
right? What, what's it going to take? These people, despite acting that, that way, they still want to lose weight. They still struggle to lose weight, to find the motivation. If only they found the right person, if they found the right reason, if they found the right food, the right plan, they would be able to lose the weight that they want. They would be able to uncover the real them that's covered under layers of fat. And that is kind of why I am here to help you to make these videos, to help you perhaps think about things you wouldn't have thought about on your own, perhaps get you to ask yourself some difficult questions. And I think this is one of those questions and what's it gonna take for you to change? Maybe you're not gonna change. Maybe it's gonna take a miracle. Maybe it doesn't take much at all. Whatever the case is, I hope you know, in the midst of a global pandemic, and even after all of this moves over and we make it out the other side, safe and sound, you can find it within yourself to find the reason to change. You can find what it takes to change. So this is David the Strong by Lee. I know this was semi-serious. It was probably a little bit soapy. I was probably on my soapbox, mopey, philosophical, spiritual, whatever the case is. I'm here for you. I want to help. And I want to make sure that we all make it out of this. The other way, the other side. Okay. David of Strong Valley. If you have any questions, shoot them over to me at david at strongvalley.com. Until next time, what's it going to take?